Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to set a Control M job to set the status to OK or not OK based on a message in the output. For this demonstration, we are using a job that executes a script and based on the result of the execution, the script will print different messages in the output. Here is the output for a successful execution. As you can see, at the end, we can find the string all completed. For my script, that means that all the tasks have been completed successfully. In the other hand, here is the output of a failed execution. As you can see, one task has failed. So the all completed string is not printed in the output. So I need to configure the job to end OK when the all completed string is printed in the output and end it not OK when the all completed string is not printed in the output. Let's check the job definition. To achieve the results that we are expecting, we need to create two undo actions. So we go to the Actions tab and click the plus symbol for undo actions. The first undo action will end the job as not OK by default. So for the on action, I select job end. For the do action, I select set to not OK and click OK. The second action will set the job to OK when the all completed string appears in the output. So for the on action, I select a specific statement output. For the statement field, I enter an asterisk. And in the code field, I will enter the all completed string and close by asterisk. It is very important to enclose the string that we will search in the output with asterisk. Otherwise, the action will not work correctly. Finally, for the do action, I select set to OK. I click OK to save the action. Summarizing, by default, the first action will end the job as not OK and the second action will end the job as OK only when the all completed string appears in the output. We click OK to save the changes and do a checking to update the job definition. So now let's test our job. I have ordered two instances of my job. One will end successfully and the second one will intentionally fail. Let's run the first job. I free it. OK, it has ended OK. Let's check the output. The all completed string is present. So the undo action is working correctly. Now let's run the job that will intentionally fail to validate the other scenario. I free the job. OK, the job has ended as not OK. Let's check the output. And as we can see, one of the tasks has failed and the all completed string is not present in the output. That's why the job has been ended as not OK. So our undo actions are working as expected. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. If you want to check more videos like this, please visit our YouTube channel. Thank you.